The process of picking the colors because I do things the way that I do them. So here is the process so far of me picking the colors. I know I'm going to need a black. So here's what I do. Personally, when I find my colors, I'm not taking these out of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snip, snip, use, pour out whatever it is I need. When I'm done, I am going to melt this thing right back up, close it up, be good. That's what I did with the colors that I had been using for my first project. Now I'm in my second project. And the process. These are my beads. The amazing thing is here's my second batch of colors that I haven't even opened yet. I haven't even tapped into those yet. They're just absolutely amazing. And now I'm just going to get my bead colors that I need. I know I need like a, a white. So I got those. I'm definitely going to need like a couple of different grays. So here are a couple of grays. I usually just kind of snip. That's more like a blue gray, so I don't necessarily feel like I need that one. So I'm going to keep that gray. I do have like a need for like a yellow. That's pretty. Don't know what it is, but it's pretty. That's like a sunshine yellow, so I know I don't need that one. That's, I don't know if that's really what I'm looking for. I'm definitely not needing a purple yet. That's a cream color and I won't need that. So I'm going to put that back. This is green. If I happen to not find the color that I need, I might have to tap into my other batch. And the, the thing about these, these are the round, whereas I actually have the square ones coming in today. So, I'm believing that, I don't know, that's kind of a different. I think I just had that. So let's see if I cannot find my grays. I might have to tap into. I don't even know. Is that a gray? Kind of interesting. I might like to try this though. That's like a deep dark gray, a bluish gray. All right, I think I'm gonna have to tap into 
the other batch because I'm not seeing any more gray. Okay, I'm going to go check those out.